is uh, Derek Wilmot with DerekWilmot.com. I'm um, actually here with Dave Robichaud. So, Dave, how was today's event, the Mitre Walk 2009? Derek, it is so inspiring. I mean, on one hand, you see all these people out here, um, over 600 people here, and you say, how great is that? But then you say, we should need to be here in the first place. That's the heartbreaking thing. So, uh, hopefully sometime in the future, we won't need to have anybody out here. But since there is mitochondrial disorder and disease, and people are suffering from that, and we do need to increase awareness and raise money for research and everything, it's really heartwarming to see all these people come out today to participate in the 5K, to do the walk, and it really, it, as much as it is about fundraising, awareness is so incredibly important because it's something most folks have not heard about. Legislators haven't heard about it, doctors haven't heard about it, pharmaceutical companies don't know about it, and so awareness is, is a real big key, and something like this, an event like this, can really help to that end. Excellent. And what do you think uh, next year is going to be like? Well, I tell you, you know, when, when Christy told me that the organization is only five years old, it started with 180 people, and now it's up to like 3,000. So, you know, it's bittersweet, but hopefully next year, you know, you double that. And then the goal ultimately being that there is no mito action, that it doesn't need to be. Um, and let's hope that they come. Now, what do you know about mitochondrial disease? Well, I know a lot from being educated by the people who work here, and I think the way I explain it to my six-year-old son and, and to my friends is that it's just energy, it saps the energy from your muscles. That's what it, that's the simplest way to explain it. And so here today you see everything from a two-year-old girl who's confined, confined to a wheelchair who cannot walk to adults in their 20s, 30s, 40s that can strike at any age and just saps their energy. Some cannot walk, some that cannot move their arms, it eventually affects your lungs and other organs, parts of your body. And so um, the frustrating thing is that so little is known about it. And so when you get diagnosed, you don't know how bad it's going to be. You know, you could, this could be as bad as it's going to get for you, or it could get really, really bad. And that's what's frustrating is you don't know. So the research needs to be done. And this is a group that's under the radar right now, but it's coming up. And, and hopefully, you know, the goal is to, is to knock this thing out. If you want to find out more about um, mitochondrial disease, mitoaction.org is the place to go and they'll tell you about everything from uh, I just met a guy from Pittsburgh okay he and his wife were touring around online they have a family member that has mitochondrial disorder and they flew out so I was giving him a hard time because he's wearing a Pittsburgh Steelers hat and I'm a diehard Patriots fan and uh, he was joking around with me but after he put his arm around me he said look I know you're joking around about me being from Pittsburgh and everything but let me tell you we flew here from there because there aren't many events like this going on it was worth it to us to come all the way to Boston a Patriot country um, and to, in order to raise money and be a part of this whole thing, and I think that's fantastic. So, you know, I know one Pittsburgh Steelers fan. God bless him. You know, he's doing the right thing. Excellent. This is David Robichaud and Derek Wilmot here at uh, in Cambridge at the Minot Walk 2009 Family Fun Fest. Thank you, Derek.